If you're looking to buy the best pair of baseball sunglasses for you, but a little nervous about what to look for, stick around, I got a how-to. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler and I want to talk to you about baseball sunglasses. Of course, that means frames and so frame details to look for that are going to be better or worse for the game, some kind of do's and don'ts, but also I want to talk lenses because that is just as important, if not more so, at least in my opinion. And then we will end with talking about a couple of our top picks for the sport. By the end of this video, you should know everything you need to know about picking the best pair of baseball sunglasses for you. So let's get started. Now let's start with frame technology, some do's and don'ts. So one thing that's a really good idea is grip. Obviously you wanna keep them on your face. So grip on the nose, grip in the temples is a really good idea. If you can have both, that is ideal. And then you don't have to think about it. The whole point here is to get a good pair that you can put on and then forget about it and you can focus on the game. Another good idea design wise is a wrapped frame, something that gives you a good wrapped lens. This seems obvious. And yeah, it probably is because you wanna have better peripheral, you also wanna have better protection and just better coverage in general, whether it be from sunlight or dirt, dust, and debris. But also if you need prescription, it gives you more lens to look through, especially in the peripheral, because you're not always looking directly at the ball, but you still wanna be able to see it. Another good idea is a lightweight frame. Now this is another thing that might go without saying, but you don't wanna to have to think about it. You wanna put them on and forget about them. And a heavier frame is gonna to start to weigh on your face and your nose and be uncomfortable. So a lightweight frame is going to help with that for certain. Do not get a metal frame. I don't like it because it's heavy. There are more breakable parts. You have all the soldering points and so it's not as impact resistant and just not generally as good for the sport. Another material to avoid is acetate. This is another plastic material, but it's a material that is not designed for really any sort of aggressive sport use. It is more brittle, it is more breakable, so I like to avoid that. Now let's talk lens tech, some do's and don'ts. You definitely want a contrast enhancing lens tint or lens technology. That's gonna make it easier to spot and track the ball. It actually helps with depth perception cues just across the board and really for just about any sport application, contrast enhancement is going to help. A really good example and one of my favorite lenses for the sport is Oakley's Prism Field. That is their lens design specifically for baseball, and uh, you should definitely check that out. We at SportRx also have some unique sport-optimized lenses, and we have one that's called the Field Day. So if you're looking at a non-Oakley frame, definitely reach out to us and talk to us about the Field Day lens. It's fantastic. You want to avoid a gray lens. The reason for that is because it doesn't really help. It doesn't help for the sport. It's probably not going to hurt really and truly, but at the same time, we're talking about getting a pair that is ideal for the sport. And a gray lens is gonna be neutral in color, neutral in contrast, so you're not gonna be able to spot and track the ball nearly as easily, and so just avoid it. There's no need for it, it doesn't help you, so go for the contrast enhancing lens. Do not get polarized. Again, it's one of those things that isn't gonna hurt, but it might actually, depending on the person, enough people have issues with polarization affecting their depth perception negatively, and there's no benefit to it. Again, it's one of those things that, that on the field, you don't have a lot of glare bouncing off of the dirt, bouncing off of the grass, and so there's no real benefit to having that polarization in the lens, and it can potentially negatively affect you, so don't do it. While we're on the topic of lens techs and lens recommendations, let's talk about day versus night lenses. So for daytime, I do always recommend a good dark dense tint, again, that's very contrast enhancing. Avoid the polarized, get something that's contrast enhancing like a, a specific tint technology or rose copper, brown, something that's good and dense will absorb a lot of that light transmission to help protect you in the bright daylight. At night, I really just recommend a clear lens. 
There are some brands that are coming out with low light or nighttime contrast enhancing lenses, which are cool. When you're a prescription wearer, most of those aren't available or any of them I don't think yet are available in prescription. And so I just recommend a clear lens. If you like the idea of a little more versatility, you can go with a photochromic lens. You can go with a transitions lens. You just wanna make sure that it gets to a either clear or completely clear state when you are wearing them at night and under those stadium lights. Also interchangeable frame designs are a good idea here because then you can have just the one frame chassis and you can swap out your day and night lens simply and easily. All right, now let's talk about our top picks. A couple of frame options for you. I have it narrowed down to two, but you know what? These two exemplify a broader range and spectrum of frames. You can get other frames that are similar to this, but they are good options and should always serve you well for the sport. And you can't talk about baseball, at least in my opinion, without talking about the FLAC 2.0 XL. Fantastic frame, you have grip everywhere, you have grip in the temple, you have grip in the nose, and it's a hydrophilic grip, so as you sweat, as it gets wet, it actually grips better instead of sliding. It's hat compatible, helmet compatible, and you have access to their prism technology, like I mentioned, fantastic lens tech, one of my favorites for the sport, and very widely prescriptionable, RXable. You can put a wide range of prescriptions in this frame and still get that prism tech. You can get that in your prescription, so if you need prescription, a really, really good option. Now, next, let's talk about the 100% Hypercraft. I love this frame. There's so much coverage. There's so much protection. This is just such a cool looking frame. Minimal while still being bold, super lightweight. It is a full shield design, so unrivaled coverage and protection, non-RXable. So do keep that in mind. That's the only real downside to this. But this guy, of course, has grip in the temple, grip in the nose, vented lenses for minimizing fogging. You have access to their hyper lens technology. As much as I've talked about the Prism Tech, the hyper lens tech is fantastic. It is not available in prescription though, and so that's my only reason for it not coming to mind first and foremost, but really, really good lens tech in terms of contrast enhancement and depth perception cues being enhanced, spotting and tracking the ball. Really, really amazing frame here. And I think you should check it out. I love it. Hey, if you're finding this content useful or interesting and you're trying to find more, well, don't fret. We have lots of other videos and blogs dedicated to the full spectrum. We have lots more baseball content you can check out and other sports as well. That's kind of our specialty. We'll put links in the description below. Also, if you're interested in getting more information perhaps about prescription or you have needs there that are a little more specific to you, reach out to our opticians because we would love to help you pick out the perfect pair for you. So that covers everything you need to know about buying the best pair of baseball sunglasses so that you have something that's a performance enhancing tool rather than just an accessory. Hopefully now you have everything that you need to know and answered all of your questions for picking out the right pair for you. By the way, if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You just reach out to us, we take care of you no matter what that means in our end. And like I've mentioned, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was useful or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, because it means a lot to us. You can check out relevant videos here, and also we have great content on our social media outlets. I think you should check us out there as well. You can find us at SportRx. All right, let's talk about some top picks. I'll just sell, oh, wait, no.